If you've been holding off your CPU upgrade waiting for Zen 5, your wait is finally over. AMD recently released four different SKUs in its desktop Zen 5 architecture, hoping to capture a larger portion of the desktop market. Are these the processors AMD fans have been waiting for? Did AMD do enough to woo Intel fans? And are these new processors going to shake up the CPU market, or are they just a bit more Zen? And taking a quick look at our test system, we're using the ASUS X670E Crosshair Hero, paired with 32 gigabytes of DDR5 6000 memory, a PNY RTX 4090 Accelerate, and an Arctic Liquid Freezer 2 for the water cooling tests, and the Noctua NHD15 for the air cooling tests, and everything is running on the latest chipsets from AMD. This video is going to focus primarily on the gaming performance of these new AMD chips, but if you are looking for a more detailed breakdown, be sure to check out the links in the description to our full written review. And starting off with 4K, which is something I like to do since if you are prioritizing graphics fidelity, your CPU is not going to matter quite so much. With the Ryzen 9 9950X setting the baseline at 100%, we can see that all the other chips come in pretty close to that number as well. With the worst performer in this test being the Ryzen 7 9700X, which is still within one percentage point difference than the 9950X. This is also the same level of performance that you get from the Ryzen 9 7950X, and the gaming performance chips, the X3Ds, are still on top of the charts with the 7800X3D and 7950X3D both being a little under 2% faster. It also means that at 4K, there are a slew of Intel chips that would give you the same or slightly better performance, topped off by the 14900K. Dropping down to 1440p actually groups the non-X3D AMD chips closer together, with the latest generation of AMD chips actually being slightly behind, though basically tied with last generation's 7950X. AMD's flagship gaming chip, the 7800X3D, still maintains the lead on the charts, followed by Intel's Core i9-14900K, followed by a plethora of Intel chips that have slightly better, but basically the same levels of performance as AMD's latest generation, at least at 1440p. Moving down to a much more gamer-friendly 1920x1080 does finally give AMD's latest generation a win, at least over the 7950X, with all the chips coming in slightly better. That win is a little short-lived though, since the Ryzen 7 7800X3D's lead does increase to 7.5%, the 14900K to 4%, and when looking at the minimum frame rates, we can see that the Ryzen 9 7950X does still beat the Ryzen 9 9950X, though at this point all the chips are pushing north of 120 FPS. The performance delta between all the chips doesn't really change even at a more future-looking 720p, with the 7950X being about 3% slower than the 9950X, which at these high resolutions would be hard to distinguish. The Ryzen 7 7800X3D is about 10% faster than the Ryzen 9 9950X, so gamers looking for the best performance should look at AMD's last generation, at least until the X3D variants are released for this generation. AMD's fortunes do change when it comes to application performance, however, with the Ryzen 9 9950X coming in about 3.5% faster than the outgoing Ryzen 9 7950X. This also puts it past the Core i9-14900K. The Ryzen 9 9900X does have 33% fewer cores, retaining about 90% of the performance of the 9950X. The relationship between core count and performance is very application dependent, so I would recommend going to our website to see performance broken down in more detail. Core count had a bigger impact on the Ryzen 7 9700X, with it now only pulling in about 75% of the performance of the 9950X. This does put it pretty much tied with the Core i5-14600K, as well as just ahead of last generation's Ryzen 7 7700X. The Ryzen 5 9600X does fall further behind, providing only 66% of the performance of the Ryzen 9 9950X, but that's pretty good considering it has fewer than half the cores available. It also has one of the largest Genova Gen performance increases, being over 7% faster than the Ryzen 5 7600X. 
So far we've seen AMD's latest chips provide much more consistent performance in gaming and single digit gains in application performance, which is nice but not necessarily noteworthy. A bigger change comes from all core power consumption. Both the Ryzen 5 9600X and the Ryzen 7 9700X both top out at 80 watts when fully loaded. This is pretty impressive for the 9600X, producing more performance than the 7600X from last generation while using 20% less power, but it's much more impressive for the Ryzen 7 9700X, which is faster than the Ryzen 7 7700X from last generation, a chip that uses almost 70% more power. The Ryzen 9 9900X and the Ryzen 9 9950X both do well in this regard too, both using about 15% less energy while providing better performance than their outgoing counterparts. The Ryzen 7 9700X is also the big winner in Genova Gen heat generation, coming in at 59.1 degrees C, which is scrolling, 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 a lot lower than 89.3C for the 7700X. The other chips also do fairly well, with the 9600X coming in at 65C and the 9900X coming in at 68. With the highest end chip, the Ryzen 9 9950X coming in at 74.8C. These are all much cooler than their last generation counterparts while providing better performance though it is worth pointing out that there isn't as much of a difference when you compare them to the X3D models. It is important to note that this story does change while gaming with 9600X and 9700X, both using a basically identical number of watts to the outgoing 7600X and 7700X. The 9900X and the 9950X coming in a few watts more efficient than their outgoing counterparts, while still using substantially less energy than Intel, though none of these are in the efficiency ballpark of the Ryzen 7 7800X 3D at only 46 watts. But how do AMD's latest chips stack up when it comes to value? We'll be using application performance here since that's the biggest differentiator between all of these chips. And if you really want the best gaming performance, it's still gonna be the Ryzen 7 7800X 3D. But in terms of applications, the fastest chip now available is the Ryzen 9 9950X, which comes in at an MSRP of $650. That does give it the worst value out of any of its contemporaries. But if you do want the fastest chip available in terms of applications, this is your option. One chip down on the rung is the Ryzen 9 9900X, which retails for $500. While it is noticeably slower than the 9950X in terms of application performance, it does deliver basically identical gaming performance and delivers a better bang for the buck in applications than the Core i9-14900K and comes in between the Ryzen 9 7950X and the 50X 3D. Up next comes the surprising Ryzen 7 9700X at $360. This is basically the same price as you can get the Ryzen 7 7800X 3D with each of these chips trading blows between application performance and gaming performance. That makes the top performing chip in this test the Ryzen 5 9600X at $280. This does make it one of the best bang for the buck gaming chips available in this latest generation providing a few more FPS than the Core i5-14600K, which is at $300, though that chip is a little bit better value in terms of applications, mainly due to its 20 available threads. As an iterative update, these Zen 5 chips do improve upon the last generation in several key ways, though probably doesn't have any Zen 4 owners wishing they waited to upgrade. The better gaming performance out of the 9600X and 9700X is welcome, as well as a small bump in performance and an overall increase in efficiency, but the higher prices over last generation does take most of the wind out of AMD's sales.